An IBM form is a mobile, secure, intelligent XML document that encapsulates the end user interaction experience of a business function. The IBM form contains all the XML data needed to complete a transaction as well as the presentation layer and client-side application logic needed to provide a rich user experience. With the client-side dynamism provided by the IBM form, the server-side application becomes focused on consuming the form's data to drive the steps of the business process. I'm John Boyer, the Distinguished Engineer for IBM Forms and Smarter Web Applications, and in this video I'll be demonstrating a number of the client-side capabilities of IBM Forms that will enable you to create dynamic, rich internet applications. The form on the screen now is a request for a property insurance quote, but the forms can be used in any kind of business process, such as for loans, medical services, purchases, expenses, and so on. All vertical industries have a need for forms. The form shown here is being rendered directly in a web browser with no plugins. The IBM Forms server translates the IBM form into the HTML, JavaScript, CSS, and AJAX calls needed for each page of the interactive user experience. An IBM form can be comprised of any number of pages that provide a multi-step wizard experience, such as the four steps across the top of this insurance quote. This allows you to provide a guided interview that simplifies the fill experience for a classic 8.5 by 11 style forms from the print and fill world. The IBM form is also capable of representing those classic style forms due to a very high precision user interface definition language. Moreover, the wizard pages and the classic style pages of an IBM form both bind to the same underlying data. So data provided by a wizard experience automatically fills the classic style printable form and vice versa. Best of all, the IBM form can be designed around the XML data format required by your backend business services. So the same data definition can be used throughout the information system. On this first wizard page, the web 2.0 look and feel of IBM forms becomes immediately evident. You got gradient color effects, you got combined text and images. You got stylized borders and border colors. You have rich HTML formatted text for eye popping banners, and so forth. Behaviorally, there are a lot of helpful effects, like the hover and glow effects on these buttons. You have type ahead assistance in your drop down menus. And you have auto selection of text in single line inputs to help support rapid data entry. To demonstrate that, I'm going to click the fill in the form button so you don't have to watch me type. And then, in order to demonstrate a web service call, I'm going to replace the data in the zip code field and hit enter. And you'll notice that the Hollywood, California, the city and state are automatically filled in by the results of a web service call. Larger web service results can also be handled, including data results that can fill an entire table with the results of a dynamic query. And as you just saw, the results of a web service are placed into the form page without any kind of web page or portal page refresh operation using AJAX calls and JavaScript for the updating. In addition to helping fill inputs, the form can also tell a user about any mistakes in the data that they've entered, which significantly reduce the costs by eliminating incorrectly filled forms. For example, the user may elect not to use the calendar picker here, but may instead type a date. But suppose they transpose the numbers as an example. They will immediately get information that tells them that they've made an error and how to correct it. Once they make the correction, are given the feedback that uh, everything is now correct within the form. This capability extends not just to simple dates and numbers and currency values, but even to regular expression matching and pattern replacement. For example, in this phone number field, there are several patterns that are recognized that allow a user to avoid typing parentheses, spaces, dashes, and that sort of thing. So within here, I'm going to remove the dash, the space, and one of the parentheses. And you'll notice that not only did it recognize that pattern, but it actually replaced it with a standard pattern uh, that the company may require for their user input. However, 
if you type data that is categorically incorrect uh, you will get the indication of that and of course once you fix it everything will be righted once again.